Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Ga, and welcome back to, you know what it is already, it's Potaque. Last time, we finished the main game. We did the prologue, then we did the main game, and now, we're gonna do after, and let us see what it is, bud. I'm pretty excited. So, without further ado, let us get started, actually. All right, let's see what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. As always, they're not early risers. Kiro-san has her body back now, and Ibaraki-san can now be awake during the daytime. It becomes somewhat of a custom for me to go up and wake them in the mornings. Rise and shine! Again, they're tangled together. How does Ibaraki sleep when Kiro-san's calling her around like that? Well, he looks a little uncomfortable, actually. As for Kiro san <laughs> She's blissfully rubbing her cheeks against Ibaraki san Must be the nice smell sending her off. Maybe she's dreaming of food again. Sorry to disrupt your sleep, but it's time to get up. Alright, let's see. Who are we gonna pick? Ibaraki or Kiro san Ibarak uh, Ibaraki or Keto. You know what they say. No one really likes, you know, going on the keto diet. So, Ibaraki. And because Ibaraki is fucking perfect. I, I don't know what you think. She is. Look at that purple hair. And you know what I mean? And she has that purple jacket and everything. She looks dope, okay? Her, she wears a dress. She looks like a Victorian person. Back then at the 18 whatever hundreds. I gently tap her shoulder. Wakey wakey. Come on, Ibaraki san. Good morning. Morning. Ah. Good morning to both of you. We go through the usual morning routine after they change clothes. By now, Ibaraki-san no longer has any trouble with greetings. She doesn't stutter anymore. I noticed this only recently. It was an incredible gradual change. Her daily efforts to improve have paid off. And I'm sure she changed in other ways too. Ways I'm just not aware of. She isn't the only one either. Me and Kiro-san has actually changed a lot. Has also changed a lot. The fact that I never noticed until recently must be a testament to how natural it feels for the three of us to be together. Want some coffee? Mm, thanks, but I'm good. I can go for some water though. I'm fine. I need to go to EX in the bit. Oh, can I come with you? Sure, I don't mind. Wait to see it at the cafe then. Guess I'll tag along as well. Good morning! <clears throat> morning. Hope, <laughs> hope you're ready for work. Good morning. Good morning. What, you guys come with her again? We can't just stay away from the excellent food for long. It's kind of a curse, really. I could really do about your half ass kissing. But, eh, I guess I don't hate it that much. I'm not just trying to flatter you. Your food really is good. I can't speak for him, but that's why I keep coming here. Your words honor me, discerning customer. So, what can I get for you today? Hmm, I'll have an orange juice and a club sandwich. Are you eating too? to drink. All right, I'll get those out to you shortly. Welcome, party of one. A suited man comes into the cafe, probably on his lunch break. There are also some reg other regulars I recognize, but I never talk to them, so I don't say hello or anything. A hot blended coffee. All right, I'll have that out to you shortly. She serves customers like usual. 
No one seems to notice it's actually a different body. Neither the customer or the owner. And he spends hours with her every each day. None of them have reacted any differently. Well, not that she changed really. What you talking about? Oh, hi Nika-san. Hey, hey! Been a hot mini, huh? Yeah, it sure has. Hi, Reno-san! Hey! Nika-san greeted us with a beaming smile on her face. Ibaraki and Nika-san has a have had times to become acquaintance acquainted. Note that it was Nika-san's affability that allows them to hit it off so quickly. Welcome. May I take your order? Can I have a uh, sangria? Already, one um, alcoholic sangria is it is. I wouldn't mind some alcohol in there. Stop that. I'm gonna be the one that gets in trouble if you do that. Yeah, what are parents for? No parents are setting are are for setting their kid <laughs> No, parents are for setting their kids straight. One non-alcoholic sangria coming right up. You heard him. It'll be on tea shortly. <laughs> you like alcohol? Dude, who does not like alcohol? Like she. Well, it's an acquired taste. That's all I'm gonna say. If you're not at the age of drinking, it's. Or you haven't drank yet because you're not 21, it's. Mm, it's okay. I like drinking, but when I first started, I did not. Dude, like spirits, like alcohol, like. Actual alcohol, like vodka, rum, like a whiskey. You know what I mean? Actual ones. They're, they were kind of hard to go down because it burns. But you get used to it. And beer, beer, if it's there, I'll drink it. But to be honest, beer tastes like ass a little bit. It, it does. I don't care who, who you are. Beer kind of sucks a little bit, you know? Couldn't tell you. I never had it before. Do you like it? Eh, not exactly. I still get flashbacks of puking my guts out to this day. Must be trauma. Heh. <laughs> Ibrakasan throws a knowing glance my way and snickers. Mm. It pains me, but I think it will be benefit. It benefits me to keep my peace right now. I don't want to bring up that embarrassing story. proudest moment. Dang! It all started that night when you saved me, come to think of it. I wouldn't say if I saved you per se, but yeah, that's was where it all began. You can't, Im you can't imagine how uncool you look, sir, all your words like that. She picks her fingers in the open wound and with every word. I'm still thankful for that. I mean, no one no one would just ignore someone about to puke himself after. Eh. Uh, I mean, no one would just ignore someone about to puke himself dead on the alley, uh, alley back alley. And I guess he did repay me for it in more ways than I could ever ask, really. A soft smile spurs across her face as he says that. That smile makes me stop for a moment. Not a bad way, of course. What? Did I say something weird? No, you didn't. I was just thinking about how often you smile now. What? Do I? Yeah. You've been smiling a lot more lately, and you seem a lot more positive, too. And that's funny? Not at all. You look good when you smile. Cute, even. No doubt it's because the three of us can finally spend time together. 
I feel my chest warm up when I watch her smile. Love. Ibaraki scowls at her. However, Nikosan averts her gaze her and her attention. So, what do you do to repay you exactly? Um, thanks. Here you are. One orange juice, one hot chocolate, one sangria, and two club sandwiches. Thanks. Enjoy. You got any plans today, Nikosan? I asked, biting into my sandwich. I gotta go hang out with some friends. But I left a bit early, so I'm killing time until then. Are those friends... Huh? Oh, nah. Not sketchy friends or anything. They're just some school friends of mine. I haven't dabbled in any bad stuff ever since... You know what thing. I wash my hands clean. Mm -mm, clean. Clean. <laughs> I'm glad. She's back to her usual cheery self. Apparently, to the police contacted her to inform her that they captured the criminal that was stalking her. She was still a little on edge for a while after that, but now she's happier than ever. What about you two? I don't have any plans. Do you? Nope. Nope. Just chilling till I have to go to work. Hmm. Okay. So you're not out on a date then? Why would you think that? Nah, I was just wondering if you guys were dating. But why would you think that? Hmm? I don't know. You just kind of gave off that vibe, like the faces you make. What's that supposed to mean? It's kind of hard to explain. Wait a chance. Just sometimes look at you with these bedroom mice. Ibaraki san gets up in a hurry and leaves. Nika san waves her off with a little smile on her face. <laughs> She's totally in love. Uh, I don't understand what you're talking about with all these faces. What? Wait, what? Are you for real? Very much so. Sorry, I'm just not that well versed in these things. I'm not sure I follow. Wow. Nika-san gives me a level stare. No laughter or mocking. She just looks generally speechless. Actually, you've been with Shibasa son a long time too. And your relationship hasn't changed one bit. I don't get the feeling you're complimenting me. Hmm. Well, they have different de definitions. You just don't get it. <sighs> she blows another exasperated sigh. Then she gulps down her sangria. Like how I'm gonna gulp down this water. <sighs> well, I think it's about time. I'm gonna get going. Wait, what were you trying to say? Stick my head into your business too much, to be honest. And you won't ever learn if you, uh, uh, and you won't ever learn if you have people tell you everything. So you're on your own for this one. See ya. She gets up and heads for the door. I'm ready to pay. I'll be there in one second. Thanks, Daddy. The sangria was good. 
Great to hear. Be careful out there, you hear me? No dangerous stuff. I know. Jeez. Here's your change. Thank you very much. See you later. And good luck, mister. I think you got a good chance, personally. Hmm? Okay, I'll remember that. Jeez, you're a lost cause. She leaves, shaking her head in disbelief. So I have to figure this out on my own, otherwise I won't learn? He does have a point. But the lack of cues, eh. Because I got a burp right now. Ugh, you smell that? You smell that? Spaghetti. Eh. Like, I made a whole pot of spaghetti, right? This thing was supposed to last me four days. It's enough to feed like what? Maybe 20 people? No, not 20 people. That's too much. Like eight people. And I ate more than half of it today. God, I'm fat. But the lack of cl clues he left me with isn't exactly helpful. What were you two talking about? I'm not too sure myself. She asked if my male instincts were hibernating or running or run away. Is that, supposed to be, is that supposed to be a riddle? I don't think so. I'll try thinking about it. It'll be good learning experience. Alright, well, just say something if you need my help. Okay, thanks. Thank me after I do anything. A smile on her face. She takes a glass of sangria from the table. She goes back. Goes to the back, and then Ibaraki-san returns. Oh, the Nika-san leave? Yeah. Okay. Mm. 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 Why are you fidgeting? I, I am not. She impatiently touching her choker. You have something to tell me. Who is? Nika-chan! All that stuff she said about the face I'm making! I don't really understand what she was trying to say. You think I could look it up on in the internet? I fished the phone out of my pocket. But before I can turn on the screen, Ibaraki-san holds my hand back. They have phones! What? I thought they did everything with the, the BMI. They have phones apparently. No, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Of course they have phones. That's how they found this this dude. This is how they found him when when we confronted Hashimis sign. I'm stupid. Alright. But before I can turn on the screen, Ibaraki holds my hands back. Don't put off that knowing. Uh okay. Um alright. I won't look into it if you're so set on it. I was just curious. Uh, she finally lets go of my hand and sits back down. The way she reacted seems a bit off to me. But if she's this upset about it, I'll drop the topic. Though, I really want to know. Promise me you forget about it. Okay. You're my dear friend. I can keep a promise. Dear friend. Ibaraki-san? What do you mean? I mean, just look! Mm. Renata so looks pretty out of it! Oh, yeah. And you've been staring at her nonstop! I suppose. Am I doing that? Am I doing it that often? Yeah, you keep throwing glances her way every other second. And I know she's looking at you too. Ah! She glances at me, and our eyes meet. And our eyes meet. But she immediately looks away and resumes working. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. I... Mm, seriously. These are signs. Like, it's it's like really exaggerated because it's an anime. But these are signs, man. And... <sighs> normally, I pick up on them. And I... 
Not all the time, but sometimes. Get it in your head, man. Like, this is obvious. It's not like, you know, high school where I found out a girl liked me even though I didn't know she did. Y you know what I mean? But now that I think about it, there were signs. But like, subtle. This is not subtle. Like, my dude, this is not subtle. Come on. But she immediately looks away and resumes working. Something happened. I really don't know. Maybe she's angry at me? Good question. She doesn't look angry to me. You really can't think of anything? Well, I think I know what's co what conversation started this. I'm just not sure what part of it was set- what set her off, to be honest. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see that. You're pretty dense. I definitely am. That wasn't a compliment. Sorry? As long as it doesn't affect work, I don't really mind. But this- but this start- but this will start boring me eventually. So you better fix things up as fa and fast. I'll do my best. Feel free to ask for advice if you need some, okay? Sure. I'll do my best, but I'm not even sure what that entails at this point. Kamado-san seems through my confusion and giggles to herself. I'm sure Rino-chan knows that as well. Maybe hitting you over the head with it might be the only way. Hard to tell a poor thinker from a sleeping one, I suppose. Ah! Our eyes meet, but she looks away again. Why don't you go take the boss on a walk? May help you get your mind off things. All right. She's right. I should focus my attention elsewhere instead of staying here and rattling, racking my brain. Let's go, buddy. Woof. Another view. from 
from person to person. This is just what I do, personally. Okay, thanks. I gotta make the first move. <laughs> Man. I never thought I'd see the day when someone tried to... I never thought I'd see the day when someone tried to hoe. Ask a friend trick on me. The oldest trick in the book. <laughs> uh... After work, we walked down the sidewalk together as always. I noticed that she's walking slightly closer to me for some reason. And she's holding onto my sleeve. Are you feeling sick? Why would I? You've been holding onto my clothing my clothes for a while now. Are you feeling dizzy? That's not why I'm doing this. Ah. Well, as long as you're feeling alright. I gotta have to do more than just this. If you know this from the if you notice from this, I wouldn't be in this predicament. Huh? What are you talking about? Ladies. Let me tell you ladies or guys. Okay. For anyone, if you're looking to get with a guy, I'm gonna say this personally. Because I kind of see how Ka Ka um Kanto feels and I kind of understand my feeling. If you want a guy. A guy you like, you need to put yourself a little bit out there. Like, reach out to the guy. Because I know it's the other way around, but guys are dense. We are dense. Because look at us. Look at her. Look at her. Like, a guy like me, probably a guy like Kanto, will probably be thinking to himself, I'll never get someone like that. And like, they won't even ask. That is like, they won't ask. No one would ask a girl out if they know they're not gonna have a chance. And even when they think they have a chance, they won't take it. So girls, got whatever, you need to approach the person because sometimes we're idiots. And I know it should be the other way around, right? But the thing is, we're idiots. We're idiots. We're morons. And by the time you approach us, and or at least do something, like ask us out, we'll be like, ah, oh, shit, she likes us. Or is this like a friend thing? I seen it. I seen it happen in high school. My buddy, he didn't ask out this girl. He didn't ask her out. And like, she didn't ask him out. And like, I found out later that um, she liked him. And he liked her. She liked him. But they never got together. Why? Because the girl was waiting for him to approach her. But the guy didn't want to approach her because he didn't think he had a shot. So, yeah. Alright, why am I talking so long? Okay, where were we? Where where were we in the game? Huh? What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Okay. <sighs> I, feel like such an, I feel like such an idiot. Giving a resigning sigh, he lets go of my hem of my jacket. Then she walks on ahead of me. Hey, wait for me. I hurry after her. Welcome home. When we get back, we're greeted by Kido-san's warm smile. Hey. We're back. How was work? You seem kind of tired. Yeah, I'm a little exhausted. After she says that, she walks into the kitchen. She then she pulls a can of sh sh shochu from the fridge and pours herself a cup. Oh, <sighs> then chugs it. Did work not go well? It was fine. I just needed a can for help, I guess. Help for what? Don't worry about it. Okay, be careful not to drink too much, though. I know. 
take a little more, so you go ahead and take your bath. Are you sure? I guess I'll go ahead then. She didn't take her bath? Like, you had all day. Like, after your job at the ES, right? You had all day. It, it, this is technically midnight. Like, what were you doing? The bath is on the sec- Is in the back of the second floor. Kira-san goes up the stairs, still looking a bit worried. Now that we're alone again, Ibaraki glances at me. You want one? No, I'm good. I can't drink alcohol again. Oh, well, okay. Her face is flushed. Now that I can take a closer look, I also notice some hot sighs escaping her mouth. Um, I find myself unable to look at her for some reason. Am I perhaps captivated by her? You finally figured it out. Why are you drinking though? Instead of an answer, she simply downs the contents of her can again. She almost slams it back down on the table. Then she gets up and walks in front of me. Her face is really red. You remember that talk we had during lunch? About what Nika-san said? The thing about your hard eyes? Yeah. Do you want to know what that looks like? Yeah, that would be nice. Then I'll teach you. Her hand pushes me down. She sits me down on the sofa. She then settles on the sofa on top of me. Ah! 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 <laughs> mm. It all happened so fast that I can't process it. When I come to, I find my son unable to open my mouth. Her face is mere inches from mine. Mm. Wait, they say unable? You look pretty fucking able to me. Mm -hmm. Her hot size brushes against my face. It's then that I realize mm -hmm. she's kissing me. I hate his eyes so much. I may lack common knowledge, but the fact doesn't escape me. I can't move my face away either. She's cupping my cheeks with both hands, keeping me in place. I can feel her trembling lips on mine. She may be nervous too. The slight scent of alcohol tickles my nose. My first kiss has a distinct sochu taste. Is this what she needed the alcohol help for? <sighs> That's what she meant. She parts her lips and looks down at me. The strong flush of her cheeks isn't all the alcohol anymore. Uh, uh. Then, she places another kiss on my lips, and I get another good whiff of alcohol. It warms my entire body, and then, I kiss her back! Huh? Do, do you get it now? Yeah, I do. Really? I realize I'm more stupid than I ever realized. We've been together for so long, and I never noticed. Are you feeling hot? Very. It feels like my heart's gonna... Sorry, I, I turned into Japanese so I could have the blushing face. It feels like my heart's gonna burst out of my chest. This might be the first time I've been so worked up. Good. Serves you right for being such a dicky, dickheaded dummy. A satisfied smug sp spreads across her face as she says that. Then, she gets up. <sighs> I feel so much better now. Ibaraki-san, I... You just noticed, didn't you? I'm not expecting an answer out of you straight away. Honestly, that kind of pisses me off that it's... in its own way, so don't... Uh, okay. I was giving you a notice. That's why I did that. Just keep it in mind. Uh... Mm. Good, good night. Not a second later, she runs up the stairs and, and into her room. She's fleeing from me. I notice the ruby blush spreading all the way to her ears as she runs. Wait! I get up from the sofa and call out to her. I heard the notice loud and clear! 
I'll keep it in mind. <sighs> she nods. Then disappears behind the door. Still a little dazed, I plop back down on the sofa. Then I just stare at the ceiling. I'm so stupid. Another view. She's taken. I guess it's a love of war. <laughs> I guess it's a love war. No. What the fuck? I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna end it there. I know. I should not end it there. I should keep going. Two hours, three hours until I finish it. But I need to end it. Because I am sorry. I need to go to bed. I need to take a shower. I need to brush my teeth. And most of all, I need to poop. I'm gonna do all those things not in that order. But I just need to go. Oh my god, that... Fuck... Dude! It was... Mm. Ah! I'm geeking out. I always geek out when it's like, Romance! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna end it there. If you liked today's video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification see whenever I post. And leave a comment saying I'm the best vato. I'm the best homie. I'm the best dude that there is in the world, honestly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That, you know what I mean? I'm the best Vato you've ever known. Because, let's be honest. You don't know what Vato means. But I am the best Vato. Okay? Anyway. Oh, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Yada, yada, yada. Alrighty. This is Gatsade. Farewell. And as always.